Hi everybody and welcome to the flute practice. It is day 24 of this flute boot camp series and today we are going to be looking at some note bending and having some fun with us. So let's go check it out. I have spoken about the wonders of note bending in some of my other videos and today we're just going to spend a little bit of time really diving into this awesome skill. It is so useful. It is great for your flute sound. It is really fantastic for embouchure flexibility, which is fantastic for interval jumps, for intonation on the flute. And these are all things that we are going to be getting to this week. So if you feel like this is a bit of a waste of your time, I really am going to encourage you to just stick with me here. Just bear with me. Put yourself through this process because it is kind of all going to come together this week. So we are going to start off with just the simple note bend. Uh, you can do it on B or G, whatever note you like. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about how to do this. I have done so in other videos. But basically we're just dropping that jaw. We're rolling in slightly. We are letting that upper lip follow that lower lip as we drop that airstream. And we are going to... Just drop that pitch. And then we can come up again. So... Where we're doing the opposite, we're moving the jaw forward, we're moving the lips forward, we're raising that airstream and we're rolling out slightly. So just going to do down and then up. And then when we get to the middle, we're just going to find that nice focused, clear sound. Today is not my best tone day probably a good day to be doing this so once again let's try it again now I want you to really like experiment and push yourself to go as low and as high as you can go even when you lose the sound it's great now I remember when I was first doing this exercise I couldn't do it all in one breath so take a breath in between. It's not a crime. You can do it. It's really not a problem. The main thing really here is about bending that pitch. Once you're getting comfortable with this note bending business, we can have a little bit of fun with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a B and we're going to bend that B right down to as far as we can go. And try and find like a decent-ish sound in that really bent low position. Then we're going to play a B flat or an A sharp and we're going to bend it up and see if we can match the two pitches. So it's really, really fun to try and really match up those pitches. And then what you can start doing. Is trying to do kind of like glissandos. We can't really do glissandos that great on the flute, but we can kind of do a little bit of one. So coming down from the B. Now I am cheating a little bit with my head. I can see uh, you moving my head. We should really try not to move the head too much just because it's not a very like efficient way to bend notes. So a little bit we can, but not too much. So. Getting a little bit of that kind of like ambulance sounding notes going on. The last thing I like to have fun with is doing, so for example, and I love to do this in the low register. So you can play F, F, ah, F sharp, F, E. And then you bend down a G, F sharp, F to try and make it sound the same. So... So you're basically playing like a semitone higher, but you're bending that note so low that it sounds almost the same. I like these exercises because they really push you to really try and bend right down that full semitone, which is really fun and a great challenge. And I don't know, it sort of gives it a sense of drive and purpose to the whole thing. 
I feel like the past kind of like couple of days of the series have really been about pushing your boundaries and kind of seeing how far you can take it. As we get to the end of the series, we are going to be really pushing a little bit more. For those of you who are, you know, not struggling to keep up, I think you're all doing your best and you're doing well. Encouragement. But for those of you who do find it challenging to keep up with the actual exercises, don't stress. This is for you an exercise in really adapting and just making it work for you over and over and over again. Until tomorrow, everybody, happy practicing, happy note bending, and see you soon.